of June 2007, the Connects paper, is a speed time graph to start with. So, if we always draw axes and we draw it as follows, we have a long horizontal axis, the time, the vertical axis, the speed. Um, so we've got time in seconds, important to label our units, and up here we've got speed in meters per second, ms minus one. Now what are we told? The told is moving on straight horizontal road. It passes a at naught, so it's labeled both naught for speed and for time. And the car moves constant speed of 25 meters per second until 10. So it's going to be a straight constant speed, it means a straight horizontal line until there will do. And we know that that must be 10, and we know it's traveling at 25 here. Then it says the car then decelerates uniformly for 8 seconds, so it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate scale wise as long as we label it as such so this time is now 18 and it's now traveling at B meters per second and this speed is maintained until 30 seconds so we'll just do 30 seconds so we'll add another 12 seconds that takes us to 30 here this point is point B this point up here is point A, and we'll just add on a couple of guidelines because that's going to help us if we need to find any areas. Let's just add that in like that. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to take a copy of this. And uh, because I'm going to need it on the next slide. So for part B, let's turn the page. And if I just shrink this down and let's just slide it across there, just so we've got a copy of it so we can use it if necessary. So for part B, we want to find out this value of V here. So, if I just take off this line here and this line here, what we've got is, if I label this to these three regions here, it's going to help us. We know that the total distance uh, of the journey from A to B was 256 meters. Now I know that the distance is equal to the area under the graph. It's equal to the area under the graph. That's a very important point about speed time graphs. So I know that the distance 526 meters is equal to the area of region 1, region 2, and region 3 added together. So region 1 is just a rectangle which is a 10 by 25 rectangle. So 10 by 25, that's area 1, added to, we've now got trapezium. Half the sum of the parallel sides, half of this height here is V, the height of this one is 25, and multiplied by the distance between them, which between 10 and 18 is 8 seconds and we then also need to add on the rectangle here which is from 8 to 12 seconds long and v seconds of the meters per second high so it's 12 v so 526 is equal to 250 plus well half of 8 is 4 v plus 100 plus 12 v so we get taking off 
250 leaves this was 276, 176 taking the numbers to the right is equal to 16 V therefore V must be 11 meters per second so that was part B and we just used the fact that the distance under the graph the area under the graph is the distance so guess what the other fact you have to know is the acceleration is equal to the gradient of any part of the graph so, that's the, so, so when it's flat the acceleration is zero constant uh, speed and then we're looking at this bit from 10 to 18 seconds so we can find the gradient by how much it's moved up divided by how much it's moved along and we've got to be careful here because we can have negatives and uh, we need to find a deceleration, we'll talk about that in a second. Well actually, it's moved from 25 down to 11, so it's gone down 14 metres per second, and the time that elapsed is 8, so minus 14 over 8 is equal to minus 1.75 ms minus 2, getting our units correct. So that's the acceleration for between 10 and 18 seconds. Unfortunately, we're going to be very, very, very careful here. And it asks us for the deceleration. So the acceleration is minus 1.75 meters per second uh, per second, or ms minus 2. So the deceleration of the car is actually a positive number because deceleration already takes into the account it's taking sl getting slower. So deceleration is 1.75 ms minus 2. And this is our answer here.